Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Emma Carpenter here on the driving range at TPC Twin Cities. And today we're diving into how to hit a fade. Uh, I think a lot of golfers maybe struggle with that slice, but a fade is probably a little different than a slice. Fade's that controlled left to right ball flight, as we know, uh, that can really help a golfer you know, hit the ball straighter, hit the ball more controlled, and ultimately shoot lower scores. So we have someone here who knows a thing or two about hitting golf balls straight. That is Emma Carpenter, um, and of course, plays for the University of Minnesota. Um, Emma, talk to me about hitting a fade, uh, where it might be necessary, and then some of the things you do to set up for that. Definitely, Drew. I mean, there's a difference between a slice and a butter cut. Yeah. Very big difference, as, we, as we've talked about. So um, I think that it's, it's really important to decide when you want to hit a fade or a draw um, before you, you stand over the golf shot, because I would say uh, one of the biggest mistakes is trying to trying to work it in your swing or mm -hmm. maybe even sometimes trying to fix a certain slice or a, a certain overdraw can actually have the opposite effect if you don't set it up correctly. So um, one of the biggest mistakes is when a lot of people have a slice, they aim further to the left, but uh, that's actually probably gonna get the ball to work a little bit more left to right. So that's what we're gonna talk about. So um, for me, when I'm trying to hit uh, just a controlled cut, I, it all starts with my setup. So. I like to set up the club face to where I want the golf ball to start. So that's gonna be just a little bit left of the target. And then I'm gonna drop my left foot back to make sure that my body is a little bit open. So that means I'm aiming left of the target. And then when I'm swinging along, I'm gonna swing my club along the line of my feet in order to get that ball curving just a little bit left to right. And hopefully it's gonna start right where that club face is aiming and then just fall a little bit right to the target. And, uh, and then, it's going to land nice and soft, and yep. we're going to have a, a short putt for birdie. I like that. Short putts for birdie. Well, I think the viewers also want some short putts for birdie, so let's, <laughs> let's show them how it's done. Let's do it. All right, Em, we've got the seven iron. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk it through step by step. How are we going to hit this fade here? Definitely. So I typically choose to hit a fade when uh, the flag is on the right side of the green, so okay. I can aim towards the middle of the green. And then if the, if the ball's straight, it'll just be in the center of the green. But then if I get it to cut nicely, then it'll it'll fall right just right in there to the flag. So here we got a lot of targets on this range. So if I'm looking, say I'm, I'm looking at this green flag here and mm -hmm. I see this orange one is, is a good spot. You know, we talked about this when we were working draws, but it's just a, probably about seven yards left of that green flag. So if that, if that orange flag is in the middle of the green, that green flag's on the right. Mm -hmm. I know that I want to, I want to get behind the golf ball and I want to set up where my club face aims right at that orange flag. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna drop my left foot just a little bit and I'm gonna feel like I'm swinging along the line of my feet and I'm not gonna manipulate this club face. It's already aimed where I want it to. So I'm gonna swing aggressively along the line of my feet. I know Drew, you said sometimes you feel a little tentative over these. Yeah, so I do, yeah. <laughs> that's, how we're, that's how we're gonna fix it. We're gonna get the setup perfect. We're gonna take the club and we're gonna swing right along that line of my feet. That is all over that green flag. Wow. So yeah, I mean, that's that felt pretty good. Um, most importantly, if you know that the club face is gonna be open to the yeah. direction of where you're swinging the club, you know that that ball is gonna work mm -hmm. right to, or left to right, excuse me. So I'm gonna do I'm just another one right here. And I'm gonna get back behind it, make sure that the setup's perfect. Cause I, I truly think that the setup is the most important thing when you're thinking about how you wanna work the golf ball. So I'm gonna aim this club face right at that orange flag, drop my left foot back just a touch, and I'm gonna swing right along the line of my feet. There it is again. Pretty good. There it is. All right, so now I have to ask, with the driver, does anything change? Or maybe let's hit one of those. Yeah, definitely. So I would say, I would say with the driver, another thing that you wanna be conscious of is how high you tee up the golf ball. Okay. So this is something the driver swing is not necessarily different than the iron swing. I would just say it's mostly the setup that mm -hmm. differs because when you're hitting an iron, you really want to hit down on it. See, you can take, a, you see, I took a little divot there mm -hmm. on my, on my seven iron and the divot is pointed just left of the target, which is exactly what we want showing that my swing direction was working right to left. So when I'm hitting a driver, a lot of times if I want to hit a draw, I tee it up a little bit higher. I play it a little more in the front of my stance and I feel like I'm swinging up and out into the right. Mm -hmm. So if I'm hitting a cut, 
a lot of times this is this is can be kind of a quick fix if you really want to work the ball left to right you can tee it down just a little bit more and feel like you're swinging just down on it just a little bit more to make sure you're coming from the outside mm -hmm. okay so similar setup here if I'm, I'm looking at that same target I'm gonna open you can see if you stood behind me you would see that I'm aiming left so if someone was standing right behind me hopefully they would yeah. be like, oh, she set up for the cut. Yeah, yeah. She set up for the butter cut. But here with the driver, this is this is a power fade, Drew. This is a good ball. Power to hit. fade, okay. Power fade. <laughs> I like a power fade. So the ball is teed down. I'm gonna tee it down just a little bit lower. So the ball teed down a little bit lower. Definitely it's easier, easier to hit a cut that way. Kind of helps your eyes as well. There it is. That ball stayed pretty straight. That's the point of, of choosing a good aiming point as well. So that one, I would say that my club face wasn't open quite enough. It was more just kind of square to where I, where I took my, the direction I okay. came in at. So here, if I really want to make sure that this cuts, I'm going to make sure that that club face is open. That, is that going to hit the green flag? It's gonna go over it because it's farther <laughs> than that, but that's pretty darn good. Yeah, so that, I mean, that, that's exactly the way I would want to execute it on the golf course. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, it really all goes into the setup. And I would say with the driver, the tee height a little bit yeah. as well, um, because when it is teed up high, it's definitely, it's easier for your eyes to kind of get, get swinging up, yep. up and out that way. So then, you know, yeah, go, goes the opposite way. Probably something a lot of the amateur players don't really think of is how tee height can affect that type of thing. And, Typically, I mean, if you see somebody hit driver off the deck, for example, they're going to hit down on that ball. And typically that ball results in a left to right fade or slice even. So um, that's another tidbit here that I know golfers will take to the course. They'll hit a power fade with the driver or a butter cut with the iron. There and we they'll, go. Uh, shoot lower scores. So Emma, thank you for all the help today. This is really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Yeah, excited to go do it on the course.